So Harrison, you had a wonderfully, beautifully varied year this year with okay. uh, 42 and Paranoia. And uh, I have to say, it all culminated to a movie that I think is kind of token Harrison Ford. It's, it's cinematically a, a spectacle, but the audience part participation is, is groundly with these characters. Is that what attracted you? I certainly thought that, that um, uh, the ambitions for the film were very high and that, we, we, that there was going to be a visual world that would be stimulating and unique. But I also recognized in the relationships uh, between the characters, uh, between the character I play and uh, and the character that Asa Butterfield plays, young Ender Wigan, I saw um, themes and issues in that relationship that um, were an important part of the story, and uh, and I think uh, important considerations for young people and their parents. So I'm hoping that this will turn out to be not just another sci-fi, you know, uh, shoot 'em up, right. but a family film yeah, that young people and their and their parents uh, would enjoy to come to see this, have the the experience of um, of, of seeing Ender Wigan change, uh, uh, meet the challenges that he's given, and then have the opportunity for for young people and their parents to talk about some of the issues that are yeah. part of the telling of the story. And it's nearly 30 years old, and it's kind of like Star Trek in a way where it predicts a lot of things. Well, 28 years ago, the author had predicted the internet. Yeah. He predicted drone warfare, and those are the two of the bigger concerns, or two, two of the bigger um, uh, uh, realities right. of, of, this, uh, of this film. It's an important film to come out now, I think. I think, I think uh, you know, it, for each generation, there's a number of films mm -hmm. that will help uh, uh, young people growing up get a register on, on, the, on the big picture, and uh, mm -hmm. I think this is one of them. I wonder, uh, Graf is a character that spans multiple books. Mm -hmm. um, do you, when you're concentrating on one film, do you kind of avoid the material that kind of goes beyond just that story? Because it's, it might enforce yeah. it in a way that isn't productive to the story yeah, you're telling it, it, I mean, it's, that's, a, that's a good question. And I, uh, I, I read the script first. I hadn't been familiar with the book. I'd heard of it, but I hadn't read it. And the more I went back into the book, uh, the more you know, I became interested in that story. But. What I had to do was be responsible for the ender or uh, for the um, graph that's in the film script, and so there there are things that had to be pruned and left out about graph. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that uh, there's an opportunity in, in the script to create a character that um, that serves the story.